Okay. Hi, my name is Jesse. My name is Ariane. My name is Ivy. And we are team one from the American School of Bangkok. Today, we will be addressing the problems of youth unemployment in COVID-19 fallout. We will be introducing the issues of unemployment because of COVID, ongoing issues because of it, and how to use technology as a solution. In introduction, century, as you know, COVID-19 affects people's life in the pessimistic way. In the world, the employees Christ the treatment of COVID-19. As corporate activities are restricted, sales will naturally decline. Salaries may also be adversely affected and the result seems to be a move to work at the house. In particular, it has a disproportionate impact on youth employment because young people are more af affected by the long-term criticism than adults. Also, they tend to lay on inexperienced and unstable former informal work. Moreover, in the face of discrimination and unequal starting point in life, some young people are even less likely to be employed than others. We chose points one and eight. COVID-19 caused the first increase in global poverty in a long time, pushing over 71 million people into poverty in just 2020. According to the World Bank, about 8.3 million Thai workers could lose their jobs or income due to COVID-19, pushing the amount of economically insecure people up to 9.7 million. Point eight is decent work and economic growth. Having, to, having the stay at home order, tourism is facing challenges. Screen time on desktop devices went up by 16% in one month in the US due to staying at home when COVID-19 started. But in light of it all, amongst the popular apps, there are small businesses all around looking for customers, mainly teens. Having their businesses online allows them to be found easier by the teens to boost sales. A solution we've come up with is to promote your business using social media. These past few months, people have been using social media apps like Instagram, Twitter, and mostly TikTok. Examples of these businesses would be making necklaces, phone cases, customizing shoes, and many more. Social media is a great way to post about your business because during quarantine and lockdowns almost everyone spends most of their time in social media and that way they will see what you sell and might consider buying from you we also found a site that could help find pe people jobs the site is called indeed jobs this site asks them what job they are looking for and where and where and after they answer the two questions it will come up with a list of jobs they can apply to Examples would be these businesses. There is a fake nail shop on Instagram, a personalized sticker shop on Twitter, a clothing page on Facebook, and a custom shoe shop on TikTok. If people want to start businesses like these, they could show, they could follow these next steps. There are five steps. The first step is the investment. The owner should stock up on the products to sell and always come up with new products that are of good quality. The second step is to show and post. The owner should be posting regularly and not lose hope just because they didn't gain much in the first weeks. The third is popularity. The owner should try using popular songs and hashtags when posting. The fourth is reaching out. The owner should try reaching out to other small businesses and small influencers to see if they can help boost the business. Fifth is to expand. Once, the, once they're popular, the owner can try to turn the small business into something bigger and better. In conclusion, we believe that using technology and creativity helps them to earn money, even though during COVID situation, which is that staying home. What we give example is that using social media to help small business to expand into huge business when they have no job left. Therefore, technology can decrease the number of youth employment during COVID-19 fallout. Lastly, small change of your lifestyle will change your life brighter than now. Thank you for listening. And if you have 
any questions, send email to us.